Hello everyone, God bless you. The Bible says, What does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? You know, sometimes, you know, we work for so much things in this world. You know, we're looking for a lot of materialistic things, you know, nothing that is spiritual. And when you have it, you know, you destroy your own soul. Because now you have the whole world, everything that you wanted, you have it. You know, and you lose your soul in return. It doesn't profit you anything. Nothing at all, you know. So, what does it profit a man to lose his soul? To gain the whole world and lose his soul. What? What does it profit you? Nothing, you know. It's like a Christian, you know. God bless you with talents, He bless you with gifts, He bless you with a lot of things, you know, and you're not using it for His glory. Yes, you might be in the church, but you're using it for your self-glory, self-glorification, you know, you want people to look at you, you know, you treat, pe you treat people badly, you have no respect of persons, you, you just, you know, downright dirty, that's what you are, and God is saying, you know, yeah, Everybody is looking at you. You have a great voice. You know, you have great talent. You do this, you do that. The whole world is applauding you. But is it giving God glory? Really? Are you really giving God the glory and the praise that He deserves? He's the one that gave you the gift in the first place. He can take it away anytime, but no, He did not take it away. He let you have it and let you have your fun with it. Hmm. What does it profit you? You know, what does it profit you? I'm not even talking about the people in the world. I'm talking about Christians here now. What does it profit you to gain this world and lose your soul? What does it profit you? Nothing. Nothing, my brothers and sisters. Nothing. So I want you guys, whatever God has given you, Whatever talent he has given you, whatever gifts he has given you, please use it for his glory and not yours. Please. You can repent and say, God, please forgive me. I have been misusing your talents, misusing your gifts because I wanted self-glorification. I wanted people to look at me. I wanted the, the applause and I did not give you the glory that you deserve, you know. Just, that's it. Just tell God that and he will forgive you. He's a forgiving God. He will. He's just waiting on you to repent. That's it. Turn away from that and just give God the glory and move forward from there. Move forward from there. It's that simple. But don't let pride keep you in that sin. Do not let pride hold you down. Because you will lose your soul in eternity and it will be in hell, not in heaven. Because it profits you nothing to gain this world. You know, God says, you know, we're not, we're not supposed to be, you know, <laughs> living for this world. We live in it. But don't be a part of it. Don't live for this world. Don't live for the things of this world. Live for the things, you know, <laughs> in heaven. Live for that. When Jesus came, he came with a purpose. He said his kingdom is not of this world. You know, his kingdom is not of this world. And it's really not. It's in heaven. It's really in heaven. So if we are children of God and we say that we want to go in the kingdom of heaven, please, please know what you're doing. Be mindful of what you're doing. You're hurting yourself. You're hurting yourself. And it doesn't profit you anything, nothing, to gain this world and lose your soul. God bless you. And I pray, I pray. <laughs> that you really take heed to this message because God knows. He knows you more than you know yourself. God bless you. In Jesus' name, have a good day.